The Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, the allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on where you're tuning in from and at what time you're tuning in. This is your girl Lex, and welcome to my page. Please take this time to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Girl! And that's exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> Carlos hit it. Girl! What is going on? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? You too, you too. This is Girl Lex checking in with another video. We've been ten toes down watching and praying for Mel that the outcome of the case went well. And what I noticed was she posted this not too long after leaving court. And so, or what I assumed she would, around the time she would be leaving court. And so, I'm like, okay, thought process. If something went wrong, she wouldn't be in a mood to be posting about anything right now. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, she looks like she's in good spirits. Cool. But I didn't want to go in and do a video as of yet, just in case, till it was confirmed. So later on, she posted this video having tacos today, Taco Tuesday. You see the girls dancing and having fun. They are so cute. Tank like, excuse me, let me pass. Miss Van in the house. Boss Baby just loves to dance. And if I had to guess, I'm thinking everything went well today in court for her. So I'm so happy, so, so happy for her. I hope it really did pan out well. There's no extensions, no delay, because we don't have time for that. No one wants to live in the balance. Like, that's so annoying. So I'm thinking everything's settled. And, you know, the kids are having a good time. Like Mel had said in her interview with Erica Cobb, kids feel your energy they sense your energy so the fact that they're happy they're joyous they're dancing speaks volumes Mo said it best on yesterday she already declared it no weapon formed against me will prosper so it was done in the books and listen the word says God hears the fervent prayer of the righteous so and again I'm not saying she's perfect but what I am saying is is God see nasty, and he repays nasty with nasty to the nasty, okay? So, she was going to be good regardless. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to play a clip that I heard from her interview with Miss Cobb. It resonated because of something that I seen in the behind the scenes episode. I think it was season two or three. I believe it was three, though. Watch this clip, and I'll catch you at the jump to discuss what I've seen or what I've noticed. It's something that I look back on now and I see, I see like the whole entire evolution of it, right? Of me mm -hmm. and um, going, I got married when I was 22. Yeah. So for years, my life had been surrounded by my husband and my children and throwing in what I want to do here and there, right? Mm -hmm. And so whenever I saw that my marriage was continuing to go downhill, you know, I decided to put more focus into myself mm -hmm. to make sure that, hey, if this doesn't work out, no matter what, I'm going to make sure I'm good. And so my focus did change some. And some people look at it and they're like, oh, well, you know, he was asking her to be at home more, to do this more. Well, why would I do that when I'm dealing with someone who's wishy-washy, so to speak, <laughs> in their decision-making? Right. No, I'm going to be stern and focus on what I need to focus on to make sure my children and I are always good. Yeah. And that's what it became for me. So it became me moving from under the wings of someone I've pretty much grown up with 
You know, I've been married right. since 22. Right. And moving from that, was it a little scary? Absolutely. Because you don't know, you know, you don't know what's out there. You don't know what the outcome will be. You don't know what's going to happen. But I was confident and I had faith that no matter what happened, I was going to be okay. But, well, why would I do that when I'm dealing with someone who's wishy-washy, so to speak? <laughs> So what a lot of people didn't see is that in the episode where they had the meeting with the comeback group, Mel and Martel were talking about whether they wanted to continue on with the comeback group. Martel had pulled Mel aside and they went to their office to speak. And Martel had pretty much told her like, no, we need to stick to our guns and say we're you know we're ready to dissolve the group and let's stick to it let's stay firm let's be together let's be a unit you and me right so they, they go back with this understanding and so when mel stuck to her guns and they did the vote around the table whether to dissolve or not mel said yes went around the table martel was like mm, i don't know as if he just didn't have this conversation with mel about sticking to our guns and giving it pretty much giving it to them so he made her seem like the difficult one and so later on you see the scene where she's like i don't want to go in thinking that me and my husband are together and it's us against them and it's really like me against everybody that's why because i was always what under, like trying to understand like did she just want him to back her whatever she said but when i seen that behind the scenes i said it makes so much more sense now he pretty much set the standard she went by it and he changed his mind all in the same moment like this isn't like oh days passed by weeks passed by months he took her aside told her what they should do and when she did it he was like yeah mm, i don't know i'm still on the fence so that's that wishy-washy stuff she be talking about and no one wants to stand behind someone or under someone if the man's supposed to lead no one wants to be behind a man that tells you to go right and then he goes left are we in this together or are we not so when i seen that clip of the video it just the bell started ringing i mean we already know martel is a narcissist of all narcissists and that's part of his narcissist trait he wants everyone else to dislike her so you see what i'm saying he it comes off like he's the nice one and he's the negotiator he might stick to his you know what i'm saying like they might have the the mindset or the opinion of him as he sticks to his guns or um He's a solid person in a sense. I don't know how to describe it, but what um, what he doesn't want to seem like is like the a-hole. He wants them to always look at him like, oh, it's Marty. Oh, he's cool. You know, he's cool. No. And wants Mel to come off like the B. So, it's just crazy. It's insane. But it just resonated with me and I just thought I'd share it. Anyways, that's enough for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Do whatever you feel like you need to do, honey. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Be blessed and have a great rest of the day. See you later, loves.